Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. What's up guys? Uh, today we obviously have Hubby as my guest. Uh, we are doing a... Q&A. Yep, I had asked you over IG um, to ask us questions regarding our relationship, COVID, parenting, all of that. So we're here to answer some of the most popular ones. If you don't follow us on IG and TikTok, I will link our handles below. And yeah, let's get started. Let's do it. Biggest pet peeve. <laughs> That's an easy one. That's an easy one. So I tend to chew kind of loudly. And I have misophonia. They so, don't go well together. No, if you don't know what misophonia is, I will put the description right here. Take your time, read it. So you could see how that definitely gets difficult. Um, I have issues with mainly oral sounds and... And I have a lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> with everything. Yeah, so it's... I've gotten better. <laughs> <laughs> um, I really wish that I could change that about myself. So I, do I. It makes it really difficult. He hates that about me. I act. I hate that about myself, and I just I hate how he chews. <laughs> so well, we figure it out. We figure it out. But yeah, I'm really sorry that you have to deal with that, and I'm sure it's vice versa as well, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so my support, <laughs> next, yeah. next question. Next question. <laughs> Um, do you ever get harassed or stalked because of social media? Yes. Obviously her more than me, but... Yeah, you not so much. <laughs> no, no. Although no. he did have like some fangirls on TikTok that were getting pretty inappropriate. Yeah. On like all of his videos. With the comments. Yeah, and... no, that was not... Mainly on TikTok. Mainly on TikTok, but for me, yeah. like I... I'll pretty much get harassed for any opinion that I post of anything um, off of social media. My DMs are filled with hateful messages. Um, but I think the craziest thing is people trying to pretend to be us. Yeah. Um, one time in particular that I can remember, we were, someone sent me a link of our relationship fabricated on Facebook with like thousands, thousands of, of followers. followers each. That was a trip. That was a trip. And it was like videos of us working out, photo, like just a whole ass relationship. And it was all in Arabic. Like, yeah, yeah, that yeah. was a trip. That was a trip. Um, how's your schedule with baby between mom and dad? How do you make it work? So I work five, eight hour shifts and two, she works two, 12 hour shifts for the most part, for sometimes most part. three, but, um, basically we try to schedule it, um, for, for me to watch Grayson and be home while she's working. And then anytime that we're both working, then my dad comes and yeah. watches Grayson the entire day. Yeah. My father-in-law has been like our number one babysitter which has been amazing he's really really great with him yeah. he's very hands-on which he hasn't been with any other grandkids or even with you guys from what we're told from, from what, what we're what told. told yeah so we're really really lucky to be able to have that um it's still again we're in a pandemic it's not our ideal situation had you asked us last year i was like oh no i'm gonna be a working mama i'm gonna be a nurse practitioner four or five days a week with a nanny and then COVID happened right yeah but we're still so blessed to be able to have the help that we do have. So absolutely. He also work. He also teleworks from home two days a week. So I think that helps as well. Yeah. 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 How do you manage your relationship when you, both of you work twelve hour shifts? So because we just answered how many hours we work um, outside of work. It's been. I mean, we're in a pandemic. We're new parents. It's definitely been hard. Right? Yeah, the more difficult part is you can't, let's say, go out and socialize yeah. with your friends like you normally would, go yeah. on dates, sit at a restaurant, walk around, see people. Just um, be able to leave the constant right. environment of your house. And I know yeah. some people are being careless and they're, and I'm going to call it careless because it is during the surge, especially that we're having now, but like mm -hmm. going out to restaurants, going out to dinner, doing all of these things that essentially had it not been a pandemic we would be able to date each other we would be able to go to a party and just have a little bit of steam blown off but it's been but also with all that being said we more or less try to you know do what we can at home yeah yeah you definitely. Know, for for a long time definitely. mainly after grayson goes to sleep i know definitely for us we we do things like i posted it on my ig 
you know, I dare you guys to take shots and take a bath with your significant other. So we did that last weekend. Like, we took some shots and we took a bath together. So I think that's definitely... You gotta you know, keep the spark you going. You gotta keep the spark going. Yeah. Advice for newlyweds. Uh, <laughs> prioritize your relationship. Prioritize your um, relationship, yeah. I'm very much a habitual <laughs> creature and I, I like my routine on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, part of your routine, and it doesn't have to, be, I, I mean technically it doesn't have to be every day, um, you gotta prioritize your, your partner and you know, you need to do things to make them feel special, to make them understand and know that you are always thinking about them mm -hmm. and um, you know, to keep the relationship strong. I definitely recommend for every single couple, and it, you don't have to read it once, you could read it at different points of your relationship, but I definitely recommend, especially for newlyweds, reading The Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman. Yeah. It has yeah. been, it's been a huge yeah. key factor, especially in the beginning of our relationship, because you're bringing two completely different people under one house. You're going to have things that drive you insane that you never realize drive you insane about your spouse. Yeah. You're going to think that, you know, he knows exactly why you're pissed off and he has no freaking idea why the hell you're pissed off because we think that men are psychic. They know what we're thinking, but leading to my next point, communication. Communication is major. Right. We are literally constantly working on our relationship. Constantly. Yeah. As a connects to the the love languages is mm -hmm. how we show one another that mm -hmm. we appreciate them and so like my thing is acts of service and affection physical touch mm -hmm. you know you could tell me a million times that you love me but until you you know communicate with me through my love languages yeah. i'm not gonna understand it that way so basically if i don't cook for him and if i don't feed him that means i don't love him right <laughs> <laughs> you gotta throw in the physical touch too. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna. No, we're keeping it rated PG. So her, I mean, whatever. Um, for for her, over time, I've realized that she's a little bit of all of the above. Um, so I try to kind of touch on every point. Um, you know, get some flowers, uh, give her a foot rub, mm -hmm. have some food ready for when she comes home from work after a 12-hour shift. Mm -hmm. Marriage is a lot of work. It's a ton of work. I think in today's society, people throw in the towel really quickly um, instead of truly, really working your ass off. It's not easy. No. You're gonna have times when you're crying. You're gonna have times when you're frustrated. You're gonna have times where you don't wanna give 150% into your marriage and the no. other person clearly is. And we kind of have a way of balancing each other out with our ups and downs, so. Yeah. How do you keep a sparkle in a relationship? Okay, so we've been married for seven and a half years. We've been dating for nine and a half, dating. We've been together for nine and a half. Um, we've had a baby, we have four animals, a house. It's a lot in the mix, right? So you gotta just be mindful. It's very easy, I feel like, in relationships for you to go like a week, a week and a half without being intimate with your spouse just because yeah. there's, so, and the more kids you have, the more, yeah. the more that gets pushed on the back burner, right? So, so you gotta prioritize you it gotta again. Prioritize. Pri prioritize it. Willing to try new things. You right. gotta put some lingerie on. Give your girl a back rub. Yeah. Use some oils. Take a bath together. And don't be scared to ask for it. Yeah. Because don't. if you're lacking in something, the other person's not gonna know. And this is where communication, open communication, yeah. comes into play uh, really heavily. Is mm -hmm. you know telling one another, hey, I'm. I need more of this, I need more of that. So in order to keep your sparkle alive, you need to, one, be spontaneous, two, prioritize each other, and three, be very direct with what your needs are. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, okay. Next question. Next question. Um, how old is Grayson? He's so cute. Thank you so much. December He's 31st, New he'll Year's be one. Eve. He's gonna be one years old. I Time flew, man. Time believe flew. that he's yeah. gonna be one that's insane he's so amazing he's yeah. so amazing yeah it's been awesome being his parents yeah. it really has i feel like you know we had a miscarriage right before we had him and i feel like yeah. when i was like hysterical and crying over it he told me it's gonna be okay because our next baby 
is going to be sent down to us from you know this pregnancy loss and this pregnancy loss is going to tell them in heaven like you're going to get amazing yeah. parents and we our, were really blessed with an amazing child he's just our little rainbow baby our little rainbow baby ah we get all emotional did you go to nursing school together yes we did we were actually a year apart it was my second week of class i was a newbie um, he had been there for already a year and we basically met outside we chit chatted I laid eyes on her. I told my friend um, I'm get In my that. class. I gotta get that. Yeah, and uh, well Yeah, here we are. I got it <laughs> almost, almost 10 years later here. We are no, it's really it's really cra crazy It was literally love at first sight. It was it was it love was. at first sight. Yeah, it was it was, it was just such an interesting connection yeah. that and you know my my I've classmate my classmate before. had been sitting there and watching our conversation unravel <clears throat> and when we went back inside she was like what the hell just happened and i said i have no idea but i'm gonna get that dude's number and she was like no 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 you guys are gonna have babies like that was magical so marcy thank you so much for predicting the future <laughs> you speak armenian i do not and I basically just said I speak Armenian, I speak Russian, he speaks to him in Russian, I speak to him in Armenian, my dad's Armenian, my mom's Russian, and there we go. <laughs> and I'm just Russian all around. <laughs> You're trying to pick up on Armenian words though. A little bit. Ures. <laughs> yeah. Ures Gnum. Sure. Ures Gnum. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Ures Gnum. Apres. Bam. How has your relationship changed since having a baby? Well. You know what? I feel like it's another experience that brings us closer together yeah but it also is extremely we difficult. tired yeah we tired <laughs> it, it's exhausting honestly it's exhausting. i don't we were talking about this last night i don't know how single parents do it no kudos no. to you guys you guys are the real superheroes yeah. because we're exhausted and it's us two and we're both pretty damn involved with grayson yeah. um I feel like our relationship has changed. On one end, it's brought us so much more closer. It has really brought us so much more closer. On the other hand, um... It makes you time manage so much better. Yeah, yeah. Because, I believe we said it earlier, we don't really get alone time until Grayson goes to bed. Yeah. Or, or during his naps. So we like to work out together. We like to do activities together. Mm -hmm. And so We're kind there's of a lot less time. We're kind of codependent. Some people will in say a good way. In a good way. Some people will say it's unhealthy. Yeah. Some people. Th it, it works for us. It works for us, yeah. but we like to do a lot of things together. Yeah. So. So basically, it's trying to do everything that we've been doing in a shorter period of time. More tired. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Do you think we've been fighting more or bickering more since having Grayson? Um. Uh, I don't think you know what yeah actually a little bit a little bit and uh, and this is why when you're more tired yeah your ability to uh, accommodate and understand one another and even communicate and communicate it, it's a little it's a little more difficult because you're already kind of on edge you're a little fresh you're tired you mm -hmm. want to take a break yet you still have a kid to take care of so yeah it does become a little more difficult and this is where your communication comes into play so significantly hey guys that's it for part one unfortunately i have a 15 minute cap go ahead and head over to part two for a continuation of this video